a familiar face, but also Sarah Jane. I think it's important to stress she remains a bit of an enigmatic figure. And the fact that she is now surrounded by her family in her private residence, where she has relaxed with family over decades, uh, feeds into uh, that picture of the Queen. We have some very important news. Buckingham Palace has just announced that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has died. She was 96 years old. The Queen died just a few moments ago, the announcements at Balmoral. She was the longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state. Her eldest son and heir, Charles, the former Prince of Wales, is now the king. Now, if you're joining us, this was the news in the last few moments. Buckingham Palace has announced that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has died. Our Royal Correspondent, Rhiannon Mills, joins me now. Rhiannon, your thoughts? So, it has just been confirmed via social media, their website, in which the Royal Family have said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. They add the King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. This will clearly come as devastating news for the Royal Family and millions of people across the United Kingdom and around the world. Queen Elizabeth II was a much-loved and respected monarch and a truly unique figure on the world stage, a head of state without equal, admired not just here in the United Kingdom, but across the globe by members of the public, politicians and religious leaders. Many of us will simply not remember a time when she wasn't our head of state, and she was a constant figure in every aspect of national life. From becoming queen when she was only 25, she then went on to become Britain's longest reigning monarch and displayed this unwavering commitment to her country and her Commonwealth throughout what was a truly record-breaking reign. Now, her dedication to that constitutional role was never questioned, but for her family were just as important to her as a devoted wife, mother, grandmother and great-grandmother. And their admiration for her was always so clearly seen when she was surrounded by her family, when we saw those moments of great national celebration and reflection. It's worth saying that for many, her reign will forever be defined by what was a selfless sense of duty but it wasn't about her own personal power, privilege or entitlement. This was a role that she felt that she was, she was born to fulfil. Her quiet and restrained demeanour was always guiding her family and the United Kingdom through what was an extraordinary period of social and political change. But throughout all of that, she was always conscious of keeping the monarchy relevant and while respecting as well and upholding important traditions 
She often showed this adaptability that many will now credit with securing the future of the institution. It is worth saying that her old age really should not detract from the enormity of this news and the huge constitutional change that her death now brings. For nearly 70 years, she was this symbol of stability and continuity and for so many, always a figure of national pride who really embodied those values of public service and duty well into her 90s and, as we saw this week, until the very end. Now the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth realms will witness a period of reflection and constitutional change which many of us will never have experienced in our lifetime as we now mourn the death of Queen Elizabeth II and witness the succession of her son as the new king.